Hi, this is Kathy, aka Crazy Knitting Nana, and it is Monday, January the 8th. Uh, Happy New Year. I hope everyone had some good holidays. I hope that uh, most I hope that you each got what you wanted or maybe even something you weren't expecting. Um, I had a good Christmas. Um, sadly, our son and his family didn't make it in. And our niece and her family couldn't come in either. Uh, our son and his family had car trouble. Our niece and her family went to her mother-in-law's. And I'm going to ask that you, if you pray or whatever you believe in doing, sending positive thoughts, um, if you would please send thousand positive thoughts or prayers for her mother-in-law who's not doing well at all. So I understood why they went there. So I fed uh, six adults and one eight-month-old baby for Christmas Day. It was a lot of fun. That The baby was is our great nephew. He's eight months old and we had a good time with him. He loves to eat. So I had him in my lap so Mama could eat. And as I was feeding myself, he would turn his little head and his mouth would go, so I started feeding him off my plate, you know, mashed potatoes and mashed up green. I gave him a few mashed up green beans. They, they weren't his favorite, but the mashed potatoes and gravy, he loved those. And then uh, for New Year's, we went to Richmond to see my son and his family. And we got to see our grandson. And uh, we had a good time. He got a lot of really cool gifts. And he was excited and happy to see his, as he calls me, his nanana -na <laughs> and his paw paw. And uh, it's, it's cute when he says it. <laughs> um, and we got him, you know, well, not just us, but family as well. He had a lot of presents, and I think we overwhelmed him just a tad bit. <laughs> But he had a, such a good time, and we did too. Um, again, like I said, I hope that you got what you wanted for Christmas, or maybe you got something you weren't expecting. And, you know, it was a wonderful gift. Or, sadly, maybe you didn't get anything you wanted. Happens to the best of us. But I hope that you each got what you wanted, or got something you didn't expect to get. Sorry, there is a Hair. Um, I mostly got money and uh, gift cards to places to eat. So my husband and I have taken advantage of those pretty much. Um, of course, you saw what I got for Christmas from my husband. And like I said, everybody else was kind of money and gift cards. And my mom is supposed to be giving me the money for subscription to Hooks and Needles and she well my dad gave me money so I bought um, some measuring cups and spoons that I really wanted with that and she's going to give me the money for that too so we're going to get into yarn yeah <laughs> I did get yarn uh, not for Chris well Kind of for Christmas, not for Christmas. But the first thing, my son's partner, yes, he's married, but they have an alternate lifestyle, which it's okay. You know, we might not agree with it, but we love him, and it's their lifestyle. So his partner went to Japan, and I had met her one time before. Well, I can't say her. It's a they. They they use the pronouns they and them, so I've got to correct myself. They went to um, Japan and bought me back a little something from Japan. Isn't that cute? Of course, it's not the bag. 
<laughs> but the bag was cute. And it's a nice bag. It's a nice, thick bag. Be able to use it for small projects. She, But they thought enough of me while they were on vacation. Or in Japan, maybe related to work, I don't know. To bring me back yarn. She said she lost the battle with the... Um, label with this one but it I think you can tell it's white fluffy and very very soft I mean it is really soft even the the color stuff in there even the color fluff is soft and she got me this colorway as well it's a mint green with color all kinds of colors in it um, I won't be able to tell you much of anything. I believe it's a hand wash. It's probably acrylic. Um, it's mostly in Japanese. So I would say, well, it looks like it shows you hand wash and do not iron, do not, um, machine dry um, so you would lay it flat to dry but otherwise I have no idea what the rest of this says but two of them together so I'm thinking maybe something fun I don't know yet what but I'm gonna figure it out but I was really surprised pleasantly surprised that she thought enough of me to to get me that now if you're wondering what my son and daughter-in-law got us um, unfortunately he lost his job and they have moved so they're both looking for new work so they really couldn't afford to give us anything this year. Uh, they gave us their time and the, the chance to be with them. That's what they gave us. That's the best thing. I'm going to show you this in a few minutes. Then a friend of mine that lives nearby, thank goodness, is uh, decided she's going to de-stash some of her yarn to make room for some other things. I think that she's just not doing her crocheting anymore or whatever and she had stuff pretty cheap so my husband let me spend some money <laughs> so I was able to get three cones of peaches and cream and I know that y'all know these by now these are a four ply or four weight 14 ounces 400 grams which is 706 yards or 645 meters and of course it's cotton so it's machine washable um, machine dryable and I got two yellows she sold them to me for three dollars a piece we all know how much these are in the store and I got a red And then I got, let's see, I think it was four of these. Now these are not the, these are just the original. So these have, I forget how much they have in them. It's the same thing as the other thing. These have 120 yards or 109 meters in them. Of course, you want to use a 7 or 8 needle. Um, let me see. I did not tell you needle sizes. Uh, yeah, this calls for a 7 needle or a H8 hook or a 5 millimeter hook. A US 7 or a 4.5 millimeter needle. 
seven needle or four and a half millimeter needle. Um, I got four of this color and I got four of orange and I got Now hang on a second, because I'm not sure that they're all the same colorway. I got, well, they're not because they're different companies. I got three of this colorway, and these were all sugar and cream. These, these were peaches and cream, but the ones she's showing. And then I got two of this one in the peaches and cream. Um, which I think is probably about the, well, this one's a little darker than that one. Um, it's the same thing, you know, four ply cotton, size seven needle and what, you know, same thing as this stuff, just under a different label. So I got two of those. So I got 13, I think it was. Five, nine, thirteen. Thirteen of uh, those cottons. And these she sold to me for a dollar each. Two ninety nine at Michael's. Three something at Joann's. <laughs> so, I, I, I got a pretty good deal out of um, all of this. And I've still got a couple more to show you. How about that? I'm just going to try and put those in there. Then I also got, I got some discontinued cotton. This is Cotton Tots by Burnett. Burnett Cotton Tots. It is a four weight as well. Uh, it calls for a US 7 or four and a half millimeter. Also calls for a US 7 hook and a four and a half or a four and a half millimeter. And you can machine wash and dry this as well. It's a hundred percent cotton and it's a nice soft cotton. It's good for making baby items too. And then I got two of these. These were, I think these were three dollars each as well. These were dollar, the cotton tots were a dollar. These were three dollars each as well. And it's the baby, Burnett Baby Sport. got my overhead light on because it's nighttime. So it's the Burnett Baby Sport. Um, let me see if I can find the information here. This is Baby Ombre, which has got the pink and the blue and the yellow and the mint green, you know, the baby colors and white. Um, it's a size, it's a weight four. Uh, 240 grams or eight and a half ounces, which it doesn't give you the, huh, uh, well, it's a, a weight three. I'm sorry. This is a weight three US six or four millimeter needle. A four millimeter hook or a USG slash six hook. And of course it's a hundred percent acrylic. I got two of these in the bag, same colorway, three dollars a piece. And we know these are like I think seven ninety nine or eight ninety nine now. Probably depending on where you go. So my mom is supposed to be getting me money. 
and she asked me to go ahead. I wanted to try out the hooks and needles um, subscription. Excuse me, I had to burp. Um, their hooks and needles box subscription. And so my husband went ahead and paid for the first box, and Mom's going to give me the money for two more. She's going to pay for this one and two more. Now, your first box, you get some off on it, and it's like $33 a month. Uh, probably closer to 40 I think you have to pay the $6 in shipping. Uh, you can find it online at hooksandneedles.com. So, I haven't opened My box just arrived. We were getting ready to go to supper. So, here's the box that came in. The first box doesn't cost, well, the first box didn't cost me as much. I think it was 23 or $24. Uh, I guess I should have bought my phone in here and I could have looked it up. So, I'm going to open it up. Okay. Well, I thought this was the way to... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. It takes a rocket scientist to get these boxes open sometimes. So. The inside of the box says your... Yarnful Dreams begin here and it has the paper stuff in it you know uh, this stuff all in it this is my first box so I got hooks and needles your cozy corner for knitting inspiration is the book that came in with it and it has a table of contents. The first part is greetings. And uh, greetings, knitting family. We are so excited to welcome you to Hooks and Needles and your first monthly box. And it goes on about being a beginner advanced and all that. And it has a letter from their founder, which I will sit and read to myself later. I promise I'm not going to sit here and read it to you. Now, it's called Hooks and Needles because you can either get a crochet box or you can get a needle box. You can also cancel or put on hold at any time, which also means you can also switch back and forth if you want to. Um, it tells you how to read and understand knitting charts. Talks about practice making perfect, reading rows, keeping track of repeats, things like that. Um, this month's yarn was Starlight Sands, and I'll show that to you in a minute. And they have a cozy hat pattern. There's the hat pattern. There it is on her head. It shows you how to make your slip knot, how to cast on, how to knit. I have videos for that if you're not a picture person. It shows you how to do many different things. And that's what this is mostly about. Is This is the pattern book. So instead of just sending you a pattern, they send you a nice little booklet that explains how to do things and this is pretty cool they sent me two pair of circular needles these are fixed so I am sure that they are what you would need to Okay, they call them double pointed needles. These are not double pointed needles, and they're US size 9 or 5.5 millimeter. 
These are circular needles. And if you're not sure what the difference is, a circular needle has this cord so that you can make things in the round without having to have four or five double-pointed needles. Double-pointed needles have an edge on each end, but I would have to show you that. It also has three darning needles. That's pretty nice. So far the box has been kind of nice. Now I've gotten down to the... Let me set this over here. Now they also had a free gift with your first order. And it's a nice wooden, this is wood, a nice wooden container with some stitch markers in it. And these are the type that you can, these are called light bulb stitch markers. And they're like safety pins. So you can put them on your hook, I mean, sorry, on your needle or you can hook them into your actual stitch if you need to. And so there's plenty of room in there. I could buy more and put more in there. Or add other things to it. That's a nice little stitch marker hole. Nice little holder. And then, last but not least, the yarn. Now when I get done, I'm pulling all the the stuffing off of this yarn. When I get done, I'll show you the box, the inside of this box, without anything in it. Oh, this is nice yarn. It's soft. So soft. It may actually become a hat for me, but it may not be. It's not going to be the simple hat. Um, this is called Starlight Sands. Two of them. That'll make a hat. It's a medium four weight, calls for US 9 needle, 137 yards or 50 grams. This is made in Italy. It is 30% extra fine merino wool and 70% baby alpaca. So it's not a bad price for this box for the yarn that you get in it. I'm not sure. how exactly I feel about about this yet but we'll see as each one comes in um, and then this is what it was all nestled in so to me they could have made the box a bit smaller or added more in it and put less of this stuff in there I know it's more eco-friendly, and that's fine. That's wonderful. I just think you could have used less and put, because to be honest, yep, yeah, they could have used probably a third less box. But that's my really about my only complaint. I mean, it's not a bad little deal. Of course, this was a this was considered a free gift. It wasn't part of the box. But, you know, I got the yarn, the needles, and a booklet, and the darning needles. Of course, those are pretty small for darning needles. But that's okay. I can't really complain too much. I mean, it, what, it's not a bad deal, again, because that yarn can be very expensive. So that was my first Hooks and Needles box. And I, you know, that that's it. I will sit down and do a video in the next day or so about the baby sweater that we have started. 
I've been very, very busy working on a shawl. Well, it's been that same shawl. <sighs> yeah, I just sighed. <laughs> because I've had to take it out to a certain point and bring it back and take it back to that certain line and bring it back. I'm hoping that maybe I can get through it now. Because <laughs> I would like to get it done and get it to the family. I'd like to get the stuff done and get them, get everything to the family and finish up the one dishcloth I got to get done and finish up and then I've got a commission for a cow. I need to get the cow made. <sighs> Nobody wants anything simple. <laughs> so that's that's it for me. I, again, thank you for being here. If you're new, thank you for joining. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. Because I have forgotten to say that a few times. So I do want you to know how much you're appreciated. If you enjoy my videos, please, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, and, you know, I've asked a few questions, so I'd love to hear from you. And I hope everyone has a happy new year without too much sickness this year and that we all get to watch our little ones whether they're our children our nieces our great nieces nephews um grandchildren or maybe they're just special friends that have little ones that you know you're you're close to so I hope we get to watch them grow and be healthy and happy and enjoy milestones this year with them. And uh, please remember, you are loved. And I am here. I will leave information. If you need to talk, feel free to either give me a holler or get a hold of the, the hotlines. Um, I'm not a professional, but I do have ears. And I will gladly listen. I can't give you, you know, I can't really give you much advice. But I can give you, you know, I can just tell you what I know. <laughs> you know, what I've been through. I, you know, you just, just remember, you are loved and I am here. And um, I would love to hear from you. I look forward to seeing your your comments and I look forward to being able to interact with you a little bit so have a great evening and we'll see you again soon with much love 